must have been on some missions to find stuff today. What did we get? These are the diamonds we're supposed to have. Break in diamond with this one. Okay. Give me a double shoe one for pistons. Cool. So we can do pistons with that one. Okay, let's see that going on here. New shoe. Gems, I'm assuming. That one just goes there. That's another one of the better mandrels, I guess. Okay, so I need to put, what's going on here, are these diamonds? Two shoes. Okay, so that's a new shoe. Comes with new screws too. Hmm. Okay, so there's our diamond right there. So, wow. Yeah, we did a number on that, didn't we? I guess we did. It's like almost gone and all chewed up. <laughs> okay, so now I gotta remember how to take this apart. Okay, you figure that out. I'm gonna clean up this mess over here. All right. Cody's rods with the diamond. boring bushing so it's not all the way cut out yet but now I'm trying to walk up because the only one I've ever done with this I tried to do one of them other ones when we was testing it and I cut it too much so I have never successfully honed a rod yet but we're trying to hopefully I don't tear these diamonds up boy I hope they last okay, okay so I am turning this knob just a little bit and counting so we're at turn 14 we don't know how much actually gets cut out of these bushings to go to size because the gauge does not tell me how much more I have to go. It's only within a little bit. Yeah, so our spring tension's at three, roughly. And right now we're counting, if when it hits zero again, that'll be 14, 14 turns. It's the best way I know how to describe it. We got our diamonds scuffed up a little bit of it getting the hang out i think uh, i it, it won't be too bad but it's very tiring makes my back hurt i'm getting old there's some um, undone right there all dirty and sanded and tears some done ones feels pretty smooth too it feels like we have pretty good oil retention in it it's not not really rough so we should be able to retain some oil. We got some holes in it too. Oh yeah, it's smooth. It might look rough, but it's smooth. Yeah, it's smooth. I mean, we could probably, I don't know, maybe we could maybe entertain. That took a long, long time. That was a good long minute. Um, almost enough time to justify me doing a rougher grit on a different mandrel. I don't want to have to change the mandrel. I, I could pop it out and then have a sander close because when I was doing this when I'm honing it it does leave a burr on the outside so I need to touch off the burr on the outside and then constantly knock the burr on the inside I actually started to keep a file right down here so that I can knock around it real quick uh, as I'm honing hone it out and then, and then sand it see I got a little bit of the factory left that right there see that's factory i didn't sand that away it's completely smooth though lift a little bit there too yeah Let's see how we did on this side yeah pretty good left most of the factory lines but sanded it all the way so i think we might be able to figure this stuff out it's just gonna and my hands freaking stink from it so I don't know. I mean, the lesser, I don't know which one I'd rather have. If I'd rather have my hands in coolant or hands in oil, I'm not sure. I mean, I guess I could keep this and then change it and be able to change it back and forth if whichever one I don't like. But look how dirty it is down here from all those bushings. We are going to get it dirty. Go 
go ahead and put that filter back on, have it going. We could hook that back up. It was uh, it was just a check valve when we first, when it first showed up here, there was a messed up check valve on it, or a check valve stuck. Got a pin for it, played with the rod hone. We still could mess up and overcut them, but that is a lot cut out. Whole bunch of it cut out from here. You know, you can't rip it. There you can kind of see it. Hmm. Okay, I'm sitting here honing these out. We got, I got a couple of them done. Got quite a few still to do. And that thing gets hot. It's freaking hot, guys. That gets hot. What I'm thinking I'm gonna do, that's just another added benefit for me to go ahead and go to the synthetic coolant. The synthetic coolant, I would just about bet that that end of that rod is gonna be stone cold if I use water-based synthetic coolant, just like in the honer. So, and it's hot, so I'm gonna have to hone it, let it relax, let the temperature come down so that I can size it. We don't wanna size it when it's freaking hot, so ain't that. A so I don't really understand the oil, I guess. Maybe I'll understand after I try to use coolant and if coolant doesn't work. But uh, in my mind right now, I do not understand why anyone would wanna use this oil. It just lets it get so hot when we have synthetic coolant. I am using diamonds, got diamond in there. If we don't have to wait for him to cool down, why do we? I I'm still trying to figure it out because, okay, this, this bushing right here, now you gotta pay attention, okay. You can adjust. We care how far this is from this. We absolutely care because we've got 15 thousandths of an inch up here. Remember the 15? Yeah. You got a thousand, you got an inch. Well, I, haven't, I didn't tell you guys that. You got one inch. So you take that one inch, you know how long that is? About that long, right? You divide that 1,000 times. A thousand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two, 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 so it's really freaking small, right? We have 15 of those that would decide whether or not this and this smash crap. Okay, so if something happens here, this is a boring bushing. I replaced this brass part in the inside. If something was to happen to the rod and, and something maybe it was machined or something's wrong, we can actually move where this pin is up or down and adjust those thousandths of an inch while just cutting where the circle goes. Like moving the circle four thousandths up and cutting it. Yeah, technology will let us do that. So we put a big enough bushing in here, that's why it's called a boring bushing. Because a boring bushing, you can move where this hole goes on the end. But it costs us all this time. Right, because normally you would put this bushing in and you would chuck it in a different machine and you would hone this hole exactly where you want it and we would actually cut it. This is honing. This is just scraping across it, knocking crap off. That machine and that machine, it has an actual cutter that will move that hole over here where we want it. <laughs> Put a little cup right here for donations to yeah, get a donation. better machine. <laughs> donation machine. Because we shouldn't have to hone it this long. Like taking 30 out, normally you'd take like 10. Well, it doesn't cut through the coating though. This. If you look halfway through it, that's the coating. That's what we actually want that pin to touch, to ride on. It's got, brass is like, uh, kind of like nylon. It's, it's considered self-lubricating. It's considered. Like, you could rub plastic on metal all day long, right? They slide off each other. When you have a different metal like that, brass, it's softer, which means it kind of acts as a lubricant. They call it self-lubricating. As long as we don't cut through that, and those are done and they didn't cut through it. So obviously, I mean, it might be too big of a bushing, but obviously at the end of the job, it works. It's great. But we just have to sit here for 15. How long, how long do you think, Julie? How long has it been? I, I think it took us an hour last night to do the three we did. So that's 20 minutes a rod. Probably. Are you guys listening to this at 20 minutes a rod? I mean, they're just giving it away. It's not a big deal. We do it all for the Yeah. yeah. So what number are we on now? I'm barely in, I'm like five. No, I meant how many rods do you have done? Is this rod number five? I think so. Okay. This, 
in a bill for debating on whether or not I can keep my hands away from this mandrel enough to wear a set of blue gloves. And I did figure out I can hold it just like this and keep it straight, so I do have an extra hand to uh, adjust it while we're going. So it just took a little while. I mean, I'll get the hang of it. Turn the screen pressure up a little bit. Okay. At least I can adjust it and still keep it straight. That's what I was worried. But I put one on the top too. So that I helps. Don't, I don't know. Hopefully it does. Well, I'll get ready to run some uh, hot soapy water to wash these rods when you're done. So, good job. One, I don't know how many I've got. This is this one more to go time. after this one. I think we'll we do want to explore getting a set of rough diamonds. And I'll just change the mandrel. I'll cut them all to within thousand, or maybe two or three thousands. Because this this take a long time. Yeah, so this is I was probably 10, 15 minutes per rod, not even close. So keep going, and it's going to be easy. It's going to be easy to overcut. I mean, we never have a problem overcutting on the home for the cylinders. I tend to catch it, so I'm just kind of getting to know these now, and hopefully, I never over hone another rod because the first one we ever did two weeks ago was with rough stones yeah we cut it way too big and i had a brand a rod with a new bushing in it that we cut too big but it's okay we i mean i was getting a feel of it i didn't care about that rod but i don't want to do these over the no. first one fine who cares throw a new bushing in it and hone the hell out of it. but in hindsight we could have just done an old bushing you have to do one for later yeah. but like hair it's all hot keep a cup down there underneath it so it catches all of it so I've got a little reservoir and I can dip that down in there and kind of cool it off and then when I file the edges I can close this one and then open this one and I can file right here I can file with a bunch of oil on it and I can take this and go around and file it but I'm not even ready yet I still have to get it to size so I'm not I could file it right now and then it, it create even more burrs when I uh, uh, did it some more keep playing with how to set all this up just like sitting down I mean this is an hour and a half job I mean I guess I don't really and I don't even need to do it with both hands not really not bends that bars on top it helps oh keep going one more after this one and then we can wash oh, and build one more I believe so there's three there and there's three in the box and one on the table and one in your hand so keep going we found some gloves. This is the last one. Look what I found out I can do. To bore it, I'll just let it go on its own. Look, I'm not touching it. I don't care how the lines look now. I'm just removing material. Because I got a blister on my freaking hand already from doing this. Yeah. Oh. be very easy to get mesmerized by this thing and just watching it next thing you know you cut way too much out no i'm still high it's barely ready still a little bit more to do i'm cleaning up the other ones and we'll have once we'll this one's this afternoon yep